Okay, in this video we want to look at proving a statement using the method of proof by contradiction. So let's look at the claim we want to prove. So the claim is as follows. So if you have two arbitrary integers a and b, then a squared minus 9b is not equal to 3. So in other words, there's no integer solution to a squared minus 9b equals 3. Okay, great. So now let's get to proving this. So proof. So just as a reminder, to prove things by contradiction, we want to suppose that the hypothesis and the conclusion are true and then end up with some sort of contradiction to a known fact um, which is maybe not part of this statement at all. So let's suppose that A and B are integers uh, such that A squared minus 9B equals 3. So in other words we have found integers that do that. So now uh, playing around with it we'll see that that means the following is true. A squared equals um, 9b plus 3. Alright, kind of moving the 9b over which we can write that as 3 times 3b plus 1 Great. And now notice that means um, that the right hand side is a multiple of 3 and thus the left hand side is also a multiple of 3. So that means that 3 divides a squared. But it's a pretty easy thing to see that if a prime divides a squared then that prime also divides a. So that means 3 also divides a and we can write a equals 3 times k for some integer k. Okay, good. So now that we're set up to that point, we'll plug that back into this equation which we derived and that'll give us 3k quantity squared equals 3 times 3b plus 1, um, which is the same thing as 9k squared equals 3 times 3b plus 1, which implies that 3 times k squared equals 3b plus 1. And then finally, thus, that tells us that 1 equals 3 times k squared minus b. In other words, 1 is a multiple of 3. So recall that k squared and b are integers. So this is an integer. It can't be 0 because the left-hand side is non-zero. But we have an integer multiple of 3 is equal to 1 which means we could write 3 divides 1, but that's a contradiction. And that finishes the proof.